Now on BBC World News, the latest business news from across the globe. World Business Report. Now, it's been another roller coaster year for cryptocurrency investors. As things stand, Bitcoin, the most well known, is up around 70% from where it started the year. And Ethereum has climbed more than 400% over the past 12 months. But there has been sharp volatility along the way. Governments and central banks are still getting to grips with crypto assets, and next year will be pivotal in terms of deciding on tighter regulations and crackdowns as well as opportunities for growth. Let's speak to Catherine Wooler, digital assets expert. Uh, Catherine, it's been, I suppose, a good year for crypto investors who chose to buy uh, when it was in one of the dips and then it subsequently rose. Not so good for those who bought at the peaks. Uh, just as about, uh, it went into another fall. Yeah, so I think it's been quite a strange year for crypto. I mean, overall, uh, I think the performance has been strong. It's a huge industry. You know, a couple of years ago, it was pretty niche. It was the preserve of the truly technical and the young. You know, now it's a $2.2 trillion industry. And overall, I think across the industry broadly this year has been strong. Uh, you mentioned, of course, Bitcoin. Ethereum is increasingly air apparent. Um, and of course, there's a good number of altcoins that have done really well. Um, obvious examples, of course, Solana up 4,000%, Cardano up 700%, um, and Polkadot up 235%. But most particularly of the retail investors and particularly a lot of tr um, corporates that have it in their treasury um, are holding. So they tend to buy the dip, as you rightly say, benefit from some dollar cost averaging. Um, and they're looking to hold uh, at least for the medium term, if not for the long term, particularly amongst, of course, a lot of inflation, lots of major economies printing money. Um, so many of the proponents of Bitcoin, people that are holding on to it, um, are doing so as an attempt to hedge against future inflation. And that is the key thing, isn't it? It's being treated almost more as crypto assets than cryptocurrencies. When do you think we'll start to see them being used in a, in a, in a more widespread way as currency to, to buy and sell things? Yeah, sure. So, of course, there are plenty of people that trade crypto. Um, they benefit from that exquisite volatility. But, of course, it's a huge turnoff both for retail investors and, of course, vendors. So until we get a lot less volatility in a cryptocurrency that can and indeed does you know, sway 10% in a day, that's truly challenging. Of course, the other thing is that Bitcoin is quite large. And whilst it can be divided uh, smaller, a Bitcoin is worth about 47,000 US dollars today. There's a number of other cryptos that are probably better for currency, Ethereum being um, an obvious one. Um, but I think the volatility is a huge challenge right now. And of course, um, better regulation. A number of the major financial um, centres aren't quite taking crypto seriously. And until we see that, um, I think it's probably an inherent risk for vendors who will be unlikely uh, to want to take it mm. for whether it's, you know, a can of drink or, you know, a multi-million uh, dollar property. And just briefly, what might we see in terms of regulation in 2022? Yeah, sure. So, of course, there's a number of countries that are pretty friendly towards crypto. There's a good number that aren't. India, of course, banned crypto earlier this year. There's a number of major economies which are, I think, at best lukewarm. Uh, major economies such as Russia, the US, of course, not talking in particularly flattering terms. Or interestingly, we are seeing a lot of central banks considering digitizing their currency. I think in terms of the PR around crypto as a whole, once you see major economies digitizing, um, you'll see a lot more acceptance of crypto um, as, as a concept, really. I mean, it's estimated um, that around 87 countries right now um, okay. are looking at digitizing. That accounts for about 90 percent of GDP. OK, Catherine, thank you very much indeed. Catherine Wooler there digital assets expert. And thank you for watching World Business Report. You can reach me on social media. I'm on there at Ben Empoulos. See you soon.